So this video is designed to talk you through the Leaving Certificate Agricultural Science Exam 2021. So this is a brand new course and the first year that it is going to be examined. So the main thing with the course this year is that there is increased choice in all areas, which is always a positive thing. So the total paper is out of 220 marks and it's divided into two sections. So section A is worth 70 marks and is essentially your short answer questions. And section B is your longer questions and worth 150 marks. So your total time allocation for the exam is two hours and 30 minutes. So section A are your short answer questions, again worth a total of 70 marks and these are, these are going to comprise questions 1 to 12. Each question is worth 10 marks, so they're just short answer questions and you only have to answer 7 out of these 12 questions and within those 12 questions four of them will have internal choice. So you'll probably have seen from your sample papers that it will say answer A or B within the one question. So it'll be four of those questions. Section B then is going to comprise your longer answered questions. These can be structured questions, synoptic questions, which are more so scenario types questions um, and a mixture of both styles as well in some questions. So out of 150 marks it is worth a large chunk of the paper. These will comprise questions 13 to 18. Each question is worth 50 marks but you only have to answer three out of these six questions. And again, there is going to be internal choice within two out of the six questions. So like that, you will have to answer A or B or maybe C or D. You will not have to answer the full question. And that's in two of these longer questions. And then looking at your time management. So the paper is two and a half hours or 150 minutes. My recommendation would be when you go and open up the paper, spend the first five to seven minutes reading through the paper, in particularly going to your section B and selecting your three long questions that you feel you will be strongest at. This is important because if you get flustered throughout the paper or feel a little bit unsure, you will have already selected your questions to answer and you won't make a mistake and maybe pick a question that you aren't as confident in towards the end. So section A, again, it was worth 70 marks. So spend around 40 minutes answering these seven questions. Then after your 40 minutes, even if you're not finished, move on to section B, as that is going to be worth 150 marks for your paper. So you need to allocate sufficient amount of time. So in total, you should spend 30 minutes per question. Some questions that you know and are able to answer, you might answer more quickly. Some you might take a little bit longer, but on average about 30 minutes. So that will bring you to 90 minutes in total. Before you go and answer any extra questions, review the, your answers for section A and section B. Give yourself approximately 10 minutes, read through your answers. Make sure you have answered specifically what the question has asked. And then if you find yourself with extra time after doing all of that, then go and select an extra question from section A or section B and answer that. The examiner will mark your best questions. So if you have time to answer all of the questions, they will mark your best. However, do not sacrifice the quality of your answers in order to try and get extra questions done because you will only be marked out of seven of the short questions and three of the long questions. So make sure that your answers are quality rather than the quantity of questions that you are answering. And um, best of luck in the exam.